Today's Two Minutes of Science is going to be about rockets. In this case, a 3D printed rocket. And we put it together from the printed parts and launched it, as you can see here. The launch was with a small engine for test. I wasn't sure how stable it would be. There was a lot of weight in the back, even though I had lengthened the body tube in order to give it some more stability. Uh, it really needed a larger engine to pick up that much weight. The 3D printer in this case is uh, DaVinci 1.0 uh, AIO because it has a scanner also. In this case I just used the model rocket that's at the website associated with the vendor and uh, built it at 40% size and then doubled the length of the body tube. But even that wasn't enough as it turned out. To assemble the internal part, the part that holds the engine and the shock cord, and in this case I put a streamer in because I didn't want it to fly away, and I was only going to do a low-level test flight. So I printed off the base unit of the baking soda rocket and changed its size until it matched the inner diameter of the base so that it would fit and then made a few other parts so that I could reinforce it. Uh, again, the thing was heavy on the bottom. I was concerned that it wouldn't be stable, but during flight, while the engine is running, it goes straight. It's only when the engine slows down that there's not enough drag from the fins to keep it on a stable heading and it starts to tumble through the air. All in all, for a first attempt, this was pretty successful. At least it flew, and it didn't break, and no parts were lost, and it wasn't that heavy.